I'm here with Wesley running back Ben Martin as we get ready for this week's game against the Virginia University of Lynchburg. And Ben, it had to feel good to finally uh, get the legs stretched out a little bit there in that third and fourth quarter and make some big runs. Uh, talk about uh, what you guys can do uh, moving forward off of a, a performance like that. I feel like every single running back receiver can can really can contribute to this team and like really make make a big run heading for the playoffs and stuff like that because like I just feel like our starters are great and like everybody that's under the starters are even just as good so I just feel like we just have a bunch of playmakers that can that can really just get the job done when you look at the running back stable obviously Jamar is having a fantastic season catching and throw or catching and receiving you've got Brandon Wright who's scored quite a few touchdowns and now you have this big game in the second half against Menlo what's it like being part of the backfield that that is so deep um I'm I'm like a really really big big fan of all of our running backs because they just have like like Jamar he has the speed and like he could catch Brandon Wright he runs so hard Kennard Squirrel he has the juke moves and I just have the breakaway speed so I just feel like whenever I watch them like it's just like watching like Shady McCoy or just somebody. Do you feel like you guys complement each other? I mean you you mentioned the different running styles. I mean. Can you steal something from Jamar? Can you see something that Kennard does and try to improve your game and, and maybe vice versa as well? Um, not not necessarily because I just feel like we just all have our style and stuff like that, and like we just stick to our style because it's just what what makes us the us, you know, like that. Like like Jamar, he has the receiving, and like he can also run the ball. Like Brandon Wright, he runs really hard. That's his style. Kennard's more of a shifty running back, and like I'm just like I hit the hole and I just go. So like. Like it's just like I said before, like it's just really good to to like watch them run. This has been an offense that's been looking for the big run play. What did it feel like when you turned that corner, and you know maybe when you got to the end zone didn't see a yellow flag laying, laying on the ground, which seems to have been the problem all year with this run game in terms of hitting the home run you know, to finally hit that big play. What did that feel like? Um, like it's an unbelievable feeling. Like it just really brings me back to the times, like back in high school, where like it was kind of easy to just hit the home run and just like to to be able to do it, and not not like o only that, just to be able to con contribute to the Wesley team in in a positive fashion is is also great. Yeah, obviously the attention is always going to be on the running back on plays like that. But to get the corner, you need the, the linemen. You need the receivers on the outside throwing that, that block to get you around the edge. How important were they on those plays? They were very important. Like, I like I, I really thanked them about, like, a hundred times as soon as we got on the bus. I'm just like, thank you to you guys because, like, without you guys, then there wouldn't be a Ben Martin 194-yard, three-touchdown performance and stuff like that. And and they, they really appreciated that because, like, because like without them, there there is no me, you know? <laughs> I mean, does it, does, you know, does it make it easy to celebrate as a, a team after a big play like that, knowing that, you know, really 11 people led to that kind of a number? Yeah, like, our, our coaches always bring up the fact that we have to play as a team. And, like, even... When when we're celebrating, we all have to just come together and just actually celebrate. You don't want that that one guy who scores just like oh, you know, like and like it was just really great to have that that feeling. Like I just really felt like a part of the team. Well, speaking of being a part of the team, obviously first year here at Wesley after uh, coming from Rutgers. Talk about your journey from Piscataway to here. How did you end up in Dover? Um, I I actually played two two years at Rutgers University and stuff like that. And then, like, I had kind of lost the love of the game for football. And, like, I wasn't really sure if I wanted to play anymore. Like, so, like, I had took a year off. And so then I had seen my, my high school teammate, Connor D. D. Bernardo, and, like, he was really playing for them. And, like, and he seemed like he was having fun. So I had told him to tell Coach that I'm trying to play for him. And they already knew about me from, my like high school and stuff like that. So I had talked to Coach Ash for like about 20, 25 minutes, and like the rest is history. But like, I, like I'm just really thankful that they gave me the opportunity to really play for like this, this like caliber team and stuff like that. Like, what like really drew me to play for for Wesley College though was was when I was on my like official visit and and I seen the kids like actually like doing their their work and like taking it seriously like so the so like it's actually like a, a student athlete like it's not just like oh well, like we can just dodge corners and stuff like that like when it comes to school work and stuff like that you talk about losing the love of football what was that like I mean, you know someone who was obviously very successful in high school in New Jersey what was it like to, to lose the love of football and how did you get it back 
Um, like I've I've like never really had to face adversity coming up in high school. You know, it's just like just like scoring like touchdowns and everybody like screaming your name and stuff like that. Like I've 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 like never really had that moment where it was just like things didn't really go my way, and like I just had to really find a way to really get over that hump. Cause at first I really didn't know how to handle it, so like it kind of like made me like try to like think of other other things to really either take take the attention off of myself or just like try to try to like make something happen from it. But I mean like just just like talking to my uh, my my parents and like friends and stuff like that like they just told me to really stay positive and f football is 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 what you've been been known for since you were 11 years old man like like just keep keep at it and and adversity is going to strike you like you just have to learn how to roll with the punches and fight through it what was the moment when you started to get the the fire back a little bit um i have to say like summertime just like Working out with like my my uh, friends from from back in Galloway and working out with like Kyle Kyle George and stuff like that like it just really made me feel like yo like I I really have what it takes to get back into football and I'm gonna give it a hundred and ten percent and once I came to Wesley College like like I was just ready to go just like starting from the con conditioning test through through camp like I was just trying to learn as as much as I can trying to learn from the more ex experienced guys and just learn how to play in a spread offense and just be the best player that I could be for this team. How challenging is it to learn the offense on the fly, obviously trying to compete for playing time and, and reps, but at the same time knowing that you know, you're know you in a sense a freshman in this system, but yet you're already on the field you know, making contributions? At first it was it was really difficult because like I've like never played in a spread offense before. I've always been in the pro style, so like it was a little different, but uh, I mean like that's that's more on, on on my part, just getting in the film, more talking to coach about what I should do, what I shouldn't do, talking to players on like only how they ex experience the the whole forming and like just be being patient. Finally, Virginia Lynchburg comes in this week, another road trip and three in a row here. Uh, talk about the challenges that the Dragons will uh, produce today. Um, after looking over the the film, like they are very athletic and they really fly to the ball, which also means that they're aggressive. So I just feel like in our offense, like if if one thing doesn't work, then like we'll 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 find a lot more plays for them. And I just feel like it's 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 going to be a great game. Well, best of luck today and good luck trying to get win number eight. Thank you, thank you, appreciate it.